that need reevaluating. Aquarius, this has been your reading for the month of June, 2021. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, or North Node. Anybody guided to this reading with Aquarius in their charts? Maybe there is a message in this reading for you today. I am closing this reading out. And I am going to go and clean and clear my energy now because that was a really heavy reading. I will say this though, Aquarius. No matter what side of the wheel you're on, make sure you have your intentions intact, that you're coming from a place of your heart and not in your head. Get out of the material world and for whoever needs it right now, you need to stop drinking because it is affecting your health physically, causing medical complications for you. If you want to get out of this, this state of depression or anxiety, or whatever you're feeling right now, if, if you are struggling through addictions with alcoholism, I know it's not easy to get out of. I, I lost... I, I lost my cousin at the age of 30, 30 years old, to overconsumption of alcoholism. She tried to quit cold turkey and went to rehab. And the doctors told her that if she quit cold turkey, that her liver would fail. And that's exactly what happened. She was in rehab and her liver failed. 30 years old. I don't, I, I, I have lost friends to suicide from alcohol and drug, drug consumption. I lost my mom to drugs and alcohol, among other things. Alcohol distorts you. It lowers your energies. It's a poison for your blood. So if you are trying to vibe high and be that spiritually enlightened teacher, you need to kick the habits. You need to reach out to supports and you need to cut the cords with people, places, and things that drive those addictions, that enable those addictions to continue. This is not going to be an easy road. Sobriety takes a long time to get to. And sometimes when we're cleaning up, we relapse. It happens. I'm not saying <laughs> that, um, that it will happen. But I am saying that if it does, don't feel guilty. You don't hold that. Instead, inspect why you relapsed. Inspect the emotions that cause you to make the choice of choosing substance and alcohol to cope. If you're going through a hard time right now, the best thing that you can do is lean on positive supports. Find somebody you can talk to, just somebody to listen. Write down how you're feeling. Sometimes just getting it out and having a journal helps to get it out so that we don't feel it in our tummy so much. And sometimes when we do those things, it can prevent us from actually going for the bottle, you know? Anytime you start feeling this need to touch the bottle or the substance, we're going to that negative, th that negative thought. Maybe write down what you're feeling. 
Write down what triggered you and why you all of a sudden feel this ankling to drink, to go and party and do drugs and sleep with everything and anything around you. There could be somebody in your environment that is struggling with serious addiction. It could be sex addiction. Somebody needs help. I'm really picking that up in this reading that somebody truly, truly needs help. Whether it be somebody that is very childlike, very immature still, but they are an adult. There could be a child involved that needs your help. You, you could be embracing your inner child. You could be healing the inner womb, the child womb, and needing help. Hence the reason why you're drinking. Hence the reason why you're in this negative space. Hence the reason why all this karma is unfolding for you because you're in your head. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But spirit is really, really, really asking you to check yourself when it comes to the intentions that you have for the people around you in your environment. And what are the intentions of those individuals in your environment have for you? Okay? Some things are meant to just fall. Don't try to fix it. Don't force it. Let it fall. No matter what, at the end of the day, karma is coming in. This is faded. This is happening. Okay? This is a major arcana card here. Okay? Got that major arcana card in here. We've got... The Emperor card, which sets your, you know, sets your boundaries. This is the Emperor card, right? Major Arcana card. We've got the Empress in here. The Emperor and the Empress show up in the deck, in the outcome, or in the action needing to be taken. It's a distorted Emperor and Empress situation. I feel like the Emperor is the one that uh, has created all of this. That's the emperor. That's who's getting cut out, is the emperor. Because they were a false. They were pretending to be the emperor, but it was all words. All right, I'm out. I hope you enjoyed your reading, Aquarius. I send you love and light. And uh, go and ground your energy. Do some writing. Do some burning. Get outside. Breathe in some of that fresh air. Go and listen to the birds. Close your eyes and let the sun beam in on your face and just be grateful for the warmth touching your skin. Find the smallest things in life to be grateful for. Because the more that we show gratitude the more abundance comes in, okay? I challenge you to a 21-day gratitude challenge. Every day for the next 21 days, list three things that you're grateful for before you even step out of that bed and before your feet touch the floor. Name three things every day for the next 21 days that you're grateful for and watch how everything completely shifts for you. Okay? I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, like, share, and subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with any future readings. And like I said, if this reading doesn't resonate, please go and check the other placements in your charts and go and check out those Zodiac videos because there might be a message in there. All right? Take care, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.